Listen, kan man ikke få at se det er dig. Og i dag så får vi også Today I'd like you to dot your vowels. Julia, why don't you start? Requirements are much higher. The kids are almost expected to be able to read when they leave preschool. Are there too many? Yes, you can have one. You can have two if you want. When a child is learning two languages simultaneously, both parents and kindergarten teachers have a special responsibility. What color is the car? This film shows how parents can support the child's language development. If parents make an effort to support the child's language development from birth, the child will do better in school. Language is a gift from mum and dad. Today, all children start preschool the year they turn six. Kelsilas is in preschool. His mother tongue is English, but he lives in Denmark, so he's bilingual. When you know a lot of words, you can solve problems at school. You understand what the teacher says, and you can interpret and follow the instructions you get. So you need five altogether. How many more do you need? Three. Yes, exactly. At school, all children are expected to understand many different words in Danish and to be able to express themselves. They must be able to answer when the teacher asks questions. Who wants to read the first two lines? Kelsilas? Kelsilas? The little... When the child starts school, it's important that it has confidence in using and playing with language. Good, really good. Teachers, nursery assistants and parents have a mutual responsibility to ensure that the children do well at school. And that goes for all children. Kilsilas has a younger brother, Nilsilas. Even though he's only one year old, he's already learning languages, two at the same time. Let's take up your jacket and your cup because it's warm inside here, okay? As a parent, it's highly important to talk to the child in the language you know best. It's good to talk to it in your native language too. It's all about giving your child a large vocabulary. Good morning. Good morning. See Nina, she's waiting for you. Bye bye, mom. Have a good day, mom. Nursery assistants support the children's language development as soon as they start daycare. Children who need it will have extra attention. The way they work with language development can be applied by the parents. Look, Kai is sleeping in his bed. Kai is awake now. Look, there is Kai. He's in his bed. When you discuss the book with a child, instead of just reading it aloud to them, they're active and learn new words. It's a good idea to read the same book many times. I'm glad I found you. Kai is not under the bed. The child is eager to communicate. It's important that we know that words don't come on their own accord, but that we as grown-ups must be role models. Now you have two again. One, two. What do you need to do? Close. Try again. Let's push it a little. Look. So even if the child cannot speak, it still has a language, and we need to pay attention. We need to understand what the child communicates and put it into words. Remove the peel. There, it's gone. There's the banana. In nurseries, the nursery assistants do everything they can every day to stimulate the children's language. But it's not enough. 
Parents must do their bit too. Are there for many? Yeah. Yeah, you can take one. You can also take two. Eric is from Trinidad, where he has lived the first two years of his life and learned English. His father is from Denmark, and the family has now moved here. Eric is learning to speak Danish. Good morning, everyone. Today we're making an obstacle course again. In the nursery groups, they support the goals set for the children. Eric and some other children are practicing prepositions and use their bodies learning through playing. Now cross the rope. Yes, great. Get up on the footstool. The nursery assistants are very conscious about improving language development, and languages are everywhere in anything you can put into words as an adult. And conversations can occur in all everyday situations. Feel it with your finger. Now you can pour in water. Me too, I can, me. Yes, you should feel it too. Cold or warm? Good, that's what we're aiming for. Can you carry it? It's a bit heavy. Is it too heavy? I'll help you. It is a special task to learn two languages, but it's also a gift to master several languages. Oh no, look! Spider-Man! It is Spider-Man. Yes! It's good to put words to what the child is engaged in. Hence, the child acquires its own words and an understanding of the things it experiences. Spider-Man is there too. Yes, and what is this? That's a spider. You learn a language by using it, by experimenting. Have you seen a spider? In the playground? And here? Also on the floor here, in kindergarten. Yes? And you learn the language when you feel safe and confident enough to speak. There is hand! There is hand! Yes, it's his hand. He has two. Giving time for the child to answer and to make sure that the child is given time to talk. Spider dies. Otherwise, the spider dies. We must start early so the child is better prepared for the future. Eric is eager to talk and says many things. Eric really wants to talk and he says a lot of things. Focus on language should not only occur in the daycare center but with mom and dad too. The child travels between many worlds. Eric's parents have been invited to talk about how to help Eric develop his language skills. In the playgroup, we work with prepositions. The nursery assistants have assessed Eric's language skills and know that he needs to work on prepositions. Playing with prepositions at home too is recommended. Try to ask open questions. Can you give an example? It's a question that doesn't just require a yes or no answer. Instead of asking, did you play today? Ask, how did you play today? Instead of saying, have you been playing today? You would ask, what have you been playing today? I found that it was really nice that they made time to speak with us one-on-one -on -one and um, they're willing to share what they are thinking and to also hear what we're thinking, so it really makes us feel like we're working as a team. The kindergarten is willing to really work with me and include me in the process. <laughs> Words are everywhere. The trick is to activate the vocabulary in everyday use. It's a water puddle. It's a piss ant. Okay. Is it that one over there? Can you see it has something in its mouth? Yes, it's because it's fetching food. 
In order for children to do well in school, it's important to make an effort to talk with your child. Put the world the child moves around in into words. Look, what are they? The big yellow ones there, what are they? Like in the TV. Like in the TV. What are they? They trains. They're cranes. They're big, aren't they? They're used to build large houses. They can lift really heavy things up into the air. Yes, go up there, not fall down. Yes, you shouldn't fall down if you're up there. Parents should also take the child out to look at the child's local environment. Motorcycle. Do you see a motorcycle? It's about putting the world around the child into words, and for parents to think about going new places and teaching the child new words. Come, Eric. Let's see if we can find someone to help us get some books for you. Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Well, this is Eric. And we speak English and some Danish. Yes. Okay. And we were wondering if you can help us maybe find some books that Eric might like. He likes Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Reading and, and talking about books. books is another way to learn new words. In the library, you can borrow books in many languages for free. This one is with spiders. Is it cool, Eric? Do you, you should like see? it? Come on, let's look inside. Oh! Look at that. Why can't spiders get messages? No one likes them. Can you find a spider, Eric? There. A little smooling one, yeah. A big one. It's here. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah. Når vi skal lære et sprog, when we learn languages, we learn by using the words, by touching the things and hearing the words for them. What do you see? Two spiders. Two spiders? I see a lot of spiders. On the pillow? On the pillow. Here. Yeah. And so it's important that the child builds his own experience and not just the parents talking. What is this? It's a monkey. A monkey? And how do you say that in Danish? Ebe. Ebe? Did mommy say it right? Oh! I'll take home with that. Do you want to take this one home? Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yes. I have something for you. Let's just go in. Okay. A kite book that he really likes. Okay. We read it to the children every day for a month. It's important that the parents are curious to know what the child learns in daycare center, in kindergarten and in school. Can I see this? So what did you do today? You did all that in school today? Yes. And sometimes you wonder as a parent and have questions. You can always ask the kindergarten or school teacher and get advice on how to encourage your child's language development. And it's important to ask so you can help your child. We open it again. Kai and Lisa are gone now. They're gone and we can't find them. Where are they? The teacher has recommended that the parents work with pre-comprehension. The parents prepare the child by discussing the new words in the book, so the child knows the words used at school. Do you know what TV is? What is it? It's like a television. Can you see the question mark here? Do you know what a question mark is? If parents are conscious about supporting their child's language development from birth, the child does better at school. Yes, so clever. Try to follow. You need to listen now.
If you draw a line here in one color in front of one of the fish and a line in front of the other fish in a different color, all right? The larger the vocabulary, the easier it is to solve problems in both math and Danish classes, and the easier it is to succeed socially. Language is many things and not just words. If you have a language, it's also easier to be understood. It's easier to express what you need. And it's easier to play with others and to be able to tell them how you'd like to play. So language is important. We know that if you have a good vocabulary when you start school, you also have a good chance of getting a good education later on. So vocabulary and education are connected.